Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with more of like an opinion video than anything else. So recently it was brought to my attention from AR12 Gaming that there is a tool for Forza that on PC specifically, it makes it easier to do in-game uh, custom paints and custom liveries on cars. Which, you know, games as far back as like 2007 will let you do custom graphics and stuff with external tools looking at you nitto 1320 legends and i think street challenge even let it uh happen but that's beside the point so forza painter what is it it's a scripting tool that converts an image to a json file and then you can open it up in the game and actually basically <clears throat> i'm dying hold on oh my god I'm still getting over a sinus infection, so sorry about that. I know that's probably going to kill people. Anyway, this tool lets you convert images to JSON files. So you can actually open them up in Forza and use them uh, with uh, the in-game vinyl editor. And it'll basically automatically put your image on the are in the game instead of having to sit there and do layer by layer which in forza i believe they allow you 3,000 layers so this could take up 2,000 of them for converting your basic image and put it into the game from examples that i've seen so one thing real quick i'll bring up i just saw a youtube video of it um we'll mute this real quick i don't know why there's well, this is a very old video apparently but basically, he shows how to do it and how this tool works. This is basically the optimized image, so you don't get a bunch of extra layers. Then you save it. And then you run it through his tool, and it converts it to a JSON file. So as you can see, it's generating a JSON file. It'll actually go through it and kind of show how it all works. There it goes. Now it's creating the JSON file. It has to have the hot pink in the background because hot pink is the color that the game knows for transparency, I believe. Else you'll get like this black box behind it or something like that if you try to do transparent. But as you can see, it is currently converting that image to a JSON file. And then you can actually import it into the game. And eventually it shows up on your car. And as you can see, it took up 3,000 layers of 3,000 layers. So, eventually, you just import it into the game, and there's the image that was converted for use in Forza Horizon 5. Now, there's a lot of people skeptical about this tool, and people have claimed they have gotten banned for using it. I don't believe them. I think they probably got banned because they were... Maybe putting things on liveries that were against the game's TOS. Or they just did something they weren't allowed to do. Because people have gotten banned in the past for breaking TOS with their uh, car paints. I got another cough coming. I hate spring. Spring is the worst time of year. But anyway, as you can see, it imports into the game. That'll get applied to their car. And then you can actually share the paint on like the livery shop and stuff like that. And it seems like a lot of the graphic, uh, custom graphic wrap people in Forza are basically just against this tool. But a lot of them have a really, frankly, shitty thought process against it. Because they're like, well, so the biggest argument right now is that uh, this tool doesn't allow you to do any sort of cheat. It doesn't modify any in-game code. It doesn't hook the game process and, like, memory edit anything. It's specifically just making a custom graphic wrap. That It's a visual thing. There's no negative from it, from that regard of, like, gaining advantage, except that people on console can't do this. But if you look at games like Gran Turismo, they literally have a website set up where you just log into your GT account and then you can upload custom graphic wraps to apply to your car in-game. You just upload like PNG files. And my thought process behind this is, if you don't allow it, 
people are still going to do it anyway, probably. And realistically, it's just going to be harder to detect. On top of that, you're really just kind of uh, stifling creativity. Because if you don't let people do this, you know, something I'm, I'd say, advanced at is used with fireworks and Photoshop. Yes, most people that <clears throat> use this tool, I'm sorry, are probably just going to go to, like, Google Images and Google something. You know what I would do? If I actually had Forza Horizon 5, I would actually literally go in to, like, Nitto Legends, if I knew where my cache folder was. Is it in here? Come on. Thank you. I would literally go into my Nitto Legends folder and grab a lot of the old custom graphic wraps and try to convert them to work with, uh, whatchamacallit, try to make them work with, uh, you know, Forza, because that sounds like a whole bunch of fun. I don't see a problem with that. Oh, this is, oh, this is the cache folder I sent him. So yeah, if you remember with like 1320 Legends, if you go in here, you can see uh, user decals. I have some in here. Here, we'll go size so I get one of the better ones. Open with FFDC. As you can see, this is the old NOS PowerShot uh, graphic. I'm not going to be good at something like the Forza Editor, but I could take this, run it through that tool, and then import it into Forza and then just resize it and stuff like that. Resize all the layers to make it fit properly. Boom. Done. That saves hours upon hours of work. Or, like I said, just go in and... Why did this break? Just go in and actually allow people who are good at Photoshop or like Fireworks or GIMP or whatever to go in. And they can also make... Wow, that's really small. They can also make their own custom wraps that way, which then allows them to import them into the game. I don't see a problem with that. If anything, it's a cool idea. The dev should allow it, and the dev should make something official that does the same thing. From what I've heard, and even the little bits that I've played Forza, the... Uh, livery shop for making custom liveries has been the same for god nearly 10 years and finally something new comes along and people are mad about it I don't get it I don't get it like if it's going to save you time what's the point why is it bad on top of that yes I understand like oh you went through the tedious process of learning how to use the Forza in-game editor so you're willing to put hours upon hours into making something look cool okay who cares now there's something to save you time use it like if you don't want to use it you don't have to use it it's not there for you it's not meant for everybody not everybody is forced into this it's the same argument as, like, there was an argument I, I don't want to call it an argument. There was a conversation I got in on Wednesday night this past week with a friend of mine. He was talking about his love of hip-hop music and when he writes music and how he feels like he always has to just beg for respect for his hip-hop music. And I looked at him and I was like, I feel the same way with pop punk. Because I don't write my own music. I can't write my own music. I'm sure I could learn, but writing lyrics is just a foreign language to me. It doesn't make sense. And in the same way, I don't enjoy uh, pop music or rap music or anything like that. And it was like, and that's fine. You don't have to because if you don't like it, you just don't have to listen to it and you don't have to give opinions on it. And I never do. I don't give my opinions on it. I give my opinions on things like outside of it. Let's say, you know, when Kanye was being anti-Semitic. Uh, I don't know if he still is, but 
you know, I'll give my opinions on that, but I'm not going to give my opinions on the actual music because I don't understand it. It's not my kind of music. Just like this program doesn't have to be used by everybody. If you don't want to use it, don't use it. But don't ruin it for those that do want to use it because they have skills elsewhere that they can now actually apply their skills to the game and make cool things. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this just little rant about this cool little tool that definitely should exist and the Forza devs should take note because they definitely need something like this in the game. Or if not in the game, at least something similar to Gran Turismo where you can upload your rap to the site and then it gets applied to your account and you can apply it to your car. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.